As Joyce mentioned, a cornerstone of this budget is to try and make it easier for first-time home buyers. CTV's National Affairs correspondent Omar Sachedina on whether it'll work. So in this property here, you obviously have hardwood flooring. For millennials, house hunting can be a daunting prospect. I moved from Toronto um, because I just felt like I kept chasing the market there. 28-year-old Liza Amiot, who is currently renting, is looking to buy her first house in Ottawa. I want a home, something that's mine, something that um, I could start a family in. But even in the city's more manageable housing market, her realtor admits millennial clients are frequently locked out. It can make it difficult. You know, it's definitely harder to to borrow money and to buy that first property that can also put them in a position where they stay renting now some of them are getting a boost through the first time home buyer incentive an interest free loan through the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation 10% for new builds 5% for existing homes which could lower monthly mortgage payments by up to $228 to qualify, first-time buyers must have a household income of $120,000 or less. I think it's less risky than just more generally encouraging younger people to borrow more. And first-time buyers can also withdraw more from their RRSPs. The first time the home buyer's plan has been adjusted in a decade. The limit now will be $35,000 up from 25,000. And the program is also being extended to married or common law couples who bought their first home together but have since broken up. What they've really done is targeted. Rather than dealing with housing affordability for, for all Canadians, they're just looking at the first time buyer. Which economists believe will help guard against a surge in demand that could drive up prices. There's also an additional $10 billion over nine years to build more than 42,000 rental units, Lisa particularly in areas where supply is low. All right, Omar, thanks for this tonight.